They can expect an awful lot of great classic and vintage and antique boats. We are so fortunate this year, our 42nd year, reinforcing the fact that we are the largest vintage boat show in Canada because we have every slip filled at Muskoka Wharf. All of our land displays are filled. All of our boats for sale area, flea market and vendors, everything is filled. So when the public comes here, they're gonna enjoy a fantastic free show with lots to see and do for the family. Uh, when you total everything on land, everything for sale, we're pushing well close to 135 boats. Well, this is my 1972 Checkmate MX. Checkmate is a company that's still in business and has been in business for a long time. When I found this boat over uh, in uh, the other side of Peterborough, it was full of pine needles, ice, snow, leaves, water. It was a complete abandoned wreck. So this became my COVID project. Uh, these were very popular ski boats back in the 70s, along with other brands like Sidewinder. Um, lots of these boats in cottage country around here. This boat was, the decks all had to come off and every piece of the wood structure that makes up the floor, the transom, the bulkheads, everything in the boat, the stringers, all had to be replaced. So rather than do this as what they call a, a full classic restoration, I've done this as what they call a resto mod, which is restored and modified. And they do that in the car world as well. So the boat was originally red metal flake and silver metal flake and black metal flake. I've gone with, uh, with a pure, uh, what they call uh, uh, candy apple wine. It's a little dulled down from candy apple red and metal flake on it. There are 13 layers of paint on this boat, so the day I scratch it, I'm going to cry. Part of the other part of doing Resto Mod is the old hardware that was on the boat was in terrible condition. So I put in all flush mounted, high end marine stainless lights, cleat holders, uh, rope, uh, the cleats for the ropes, everything and modern bucket seats, uh, sport boat seats, modern new steering. Um, the engine is from the 1980s and not the 1970s. The original Mercury Tower of Power six cylinders in the 70s weren't terribly reliable, so I have a 1981 that is uh, reliable. Now, this boat runs at a top speed of 64 miles an hour, which is plenty quick enough when you're sitting that low to the water. This boat will be in the show this weekend and something we're proud of here at ACBS Toronto. We are the first ACBS boat show in the world, specifically North America, to ever create classes and judging for classic fiberglass boats. And we'll be doing that this Saturday for the first time. Uh, one's uh, all original 1958 Sanxer craft. It's a Canadian boat. It was uh, made in Toronto, uh, completely original. Interior, paint, etc. The other one was <laughs> a complete makeover. Uh, if we found that under a cottage, uh, what was going to be uh, a demolition. A friend of mine bought the boat. I ended up twisting his arm to buy the boat from him. And then from there on, it took uh, about 14 months to restore. It's a custom craft, manta ray. You search down, I search down a lot of the parts myself and it takes time, et cetera, et cetera. Have them import it. Uh, it's just a, uh, just a good feeling at the end when it's all done. Yeah. They're just a different era. Uh, when I was a kid growing up, like boats with fins and uh, the manta ray has all that. Uh, just a lot of work, a lot of, I, also am into uh, antique cars, trucks, so it goes hand in hand. I've been told this steering wheel is from a 36 Buick. Well, this is Crusoe. It's one of two 24-foot um, triple cockpit grivettes that was built right over here. 
1936. And this one was built for the president of BA Oil. And the other one was built for John Labatt. And they're both, uh, they're both still around. The other boat is called QM, and a friend owns it. Um, but he also, being president of BA Oil, he didn't want to deal with the Mortimers over at Mortimers Point with SO gas. So he had the Peerless built as well. And uh, he uh, delivered gasoline to his own island to, and to all his friends. Then the, the second owner was Baz Southam of the Southam family. And uh, he called his four kids down to the boathouse when he brought it home. He said, kids, this is the 14th boat we've had this summer. The rest of them have all burned or sank. This is the last chance. And it was called the last chance for about 40 or 50 years. <laughs> yeah, this is where we had our wedding re uh, reception. It was aboard the uh, Winona. It basically had to be taken apart. All the pieces were used as a pattern and the boat was put together by Mike Windsor, one of the local uh, boat builders here. And um, yeah, he did a great job. Also, the upholstery was done by Doug Smith, who just passed away a few years ago. But he worked in the, in the uh, Gravette factory for 35 years. And he, he, just, he was just a wonderful craftsman. So I was so lucky to have him do that. And then it has modern power, but the old, uh, engine was apparently a 150 horsepower Kermath truck engine and you would have had to go from here to the end of the bay to get it on plane. This thing you can load it up with 10 people and it's on plane almost immediately so it's great it's it's really good. Not all the uh, wooden boats ride like this one. This uh, planes that you know, 1,500 RPMs or at 40 RPMs at 40 miles an hour. And uh, it really is a sweet boat. I think we believe it was uh, designed by John Hacker, who was the probably the most famous naval architect of this type of boat at the time. But there's no record of that. To get people here because there's limited parking at uh, Muskoka Wharf, you got to get here early for parking. But we operate two shuttle, uh, parking lots and a free shuttle bus that will bring you to the site and back to your car. And you can visit our website, acbs.ca, and you can find the map where the routes are and where the parking lots are. So when you get here, all kinds of family fun from water ski shows to the kids can carve paddles, paint and model wooden boats, tons of stuff to do to enjoy a family day on Muskoka Wharf at our show.